Let's review the lower uh, extremity muscles briefly. Here in front we have the psoas major muscle. It's attached to uh, the spine as well as the transverse process of T12 found through L5 and goes into the lesser trochanter on the femur. It uh, is a hip flexor mainly. Down in here we can see a little bit of the iliacus which works together and together these are called the so iliopsoas muscle. The iliacus starts at the iliac fossa and also goes to the lesser trochanter um, on the femur. And there's also of course then a hip flexor. The psoas, the psoas gives the people a sore ass, and that's how we can remember that muscle. Then let's, uh, let's take this here off. This is the gluteus maximus, by the way. We'll take it off. We'll bring it back in a minute. But uh, because I want to see here on the, on the inside, look at these muscles here. They go all sort of into this point, which is um, the greater trochanter of the femur. This is the lateral side of the thigh. And the muscle we are mostly interested here is the one that's right on top of the sciatic nerve. This is the sciatic nerve, and that's called the piriformis muscle. Starts at the border of the sacrum, the lateral border of the sacrum, and goes into the greater trochanter. And it, what it does when it contracts, it laterally, externally rotates the thigh. So when you see someone with a foot out, it's actually up here that the work is done. This muscle is very important in back pain because the sciatic nerve goes straight through it. So a lot of times we have a piriformis syndrome where we actually have sciatic cup and we don't necessarily need to go do surgery on it, which is good. Um, people that have this in trouble, they want to put a pillow between the knee as well as the foot because when only the foot drops down, it still feels like it's externally rotating and that's stressing this muscle. As we are here, right here, the piriformis, and then the one on top, the one with the hole in it, that's the gluteus minimus, the gluteus minimus. It starts at the iliac fossa and it goes into the greater trochanter. The gluteus medius also starts here a little further up and then also anchors into the greater trochanter. We see that on the underside of here, which is the piece that we put back in to make the butt. Right there. Now we have the gluteus maximus. And the gluteus maximus starts uh, on the crest, but also a little bit in the sacral area. And it goes into um, uh, the femur, a linea aspera in the back, approximately, but then also into the IT band, which is right here on the side. And it, that anchors the gluteus maximus and, and also the tensor fasciata, which is the next muscle, into the lateral tibia and fibula, proximal tibia and fibula. And so then this muscle here is the tensor fascia lata that starts at the um, uh, anterior iliac crest uh, at the ASIS and, and it anchors into the IT band and then that goes into the tibia. Those are muscles that uh, abduct the thigh this way but also the glutes are very strong hip extensor, especially the maximus. It's a big muscle for that, very strong. Now let's put our attention to the front here, front thigh, right in here. The one that is on top here, well this whole group here, is called the quadricep femoris group. It, they all insert in the tibial tuberosity, right in here, and they pass through the patella. So this is often called patellar ligament, this can be the patellar tendon or the quadricep femoris tendon. So all four are called the quadricep femoris group. We dissect them. The first one, well there's four of them, quadri means four. First one is the rectus femoris on the front. That starts, originates at the IIAS, IIS, no, anterior inferior iliac spine. I, was, I guess that was it. These muscles collectively, as you can see with this anchoring into the tibia, it's going to straighten out the tibia, and that's a knee extensor. This one going though up to the pelvis will also a little bit help flex the, flex the uh, th uh, thigh, helping the iliopsoas muscle. Outside we have the latus, vastus lateralis, inside vastus medialis. Taking this apart we have the vastus intermedius and they all start at the thigh. Actually some of them are the back part of the thigh. Then a small muscle we have on the Medial side here, as we turn it around, goes from the AI, ASIS, the top, to the medial tibia, 
And that's called the sartorius muscle, and that's known as the Taylor's muscle, and that muscle helps us cross one leg over the other. As we go on the medial side, we have the adductor group muscles, and as we can see, this is a bit of a mess uh, on the model. So we're not going to worry about all the details of it, but a pointer in here, adductor groups, or adductor muscle. And then this skinny one on top is the gracilis muscle. So the adductor, sort of a fan-shaped muscle that comes from the th medial thigh and anchors into the close, as close to we can get to the pubic symphysis as possible in the front of our pelvis. And uh, uh, that, will, that will help us bring the thigh medial adducting in. So tagging-wise, adductor, gracilis. In the posterior compartment, we have the hamstring muscles, and we have three of them, four heads, but three muscles. They all start at the ischial tuberosity, so the our sit bone, and they anchor into the, either the lateral knee, uh, tibia fibula, or the medial tip fibula. They are knee flexors, so they bend the knee. The outside, the lateral one, is the biceps femoris, and if you look down here at the insertion ends, we only have one tendon coming down. But then on the medial side, you have a semi-membranosis on the bottom and a semi-tendinosis on top. The tendinosis has a tendon, the membranosis is a flat, broad, member, more membranous uh, insertion point. And then we can stay right back here. We go down below, and now we go into the calf. We have three calf muscles we worry about. These are collectively called as the triceps surrey. Uh, they all insert into the cal calcaneus through the calcaneal tendon, or also known as the Achilles tendon. The top two ones are the gastrocnemius, medial head and lateral head, and they anchor into the medial and lateral distal femur. And then on the underside, if we actually take this one out, we have a, a broader, flatter muscle underneath, and that's the soleus muscle, which resembles the fish. I heard that's a fish, not sure. Um, and then lastly for our class, we're going to go to the lateral leg. And we have the muscle most laterally going down here. On this side here, not this one, this one next to it. And that muscle is known as the fibularis. Important is because it anchors from the fibula and goes underneath the foot and it anchors into, into the base of the medial cuneiform, which is a bone just right in here on the underside. So when we twist our ankle this way, or this way, these ligaments get broken, the muscle down here going underneath can help greatly. We that really tighten here, you know, when we twist our ankle real bad. I'm sure you heard that before. Thanks. <laughs>